Hi all, Hippo here. So uh, for those of you who play SnowRunner, there's now a uh, DLC available for about 8 bucks that'll give you uh, the actual Jeep Wrangler and uh, in two versions. And uh, I like the smaller four-wheel drives in this game here and uh, so far I've been making do with this Scout 800 and uh, apparently that is the car that Burt Reynolds drives in uh, the movie Deliverance. So uh, I've been pretty keen to get uh, well, driving something else, I don't want to be reminded of that movie. So luckily now we have the option of actually taking a Jeep Wrangler out. There's actually two of them available with one being the Rubicon as I'm showing here and uh, like the second one is the Renegade and uh, they're both delightful and fun to uh, to play and I highly recommend you uh, pay the 10 bucks or whatever it is for this uh, download here. And uh, of course you can uh, like fiddle with the car any way you want just like all the other cars or trucks in the game and uh, you can pick your tires and your suspension and uh, you can add uh, snorkels and all sorts of um, like stuff that makes the car either look uh, grungier or actually perform better off-road um, and uh, obviously you can also change the colors to pretty much anything you like and uh, you can also add stickers and stuff like that so if we compare it to the the Scout 800, the International Harvester here, it's a little bit smaller, uh, and that really helps when you take this thing out on uh, well the goat trails that are <laughs> so plentiful in this game here. So uh, just like its real life counterpart, this is definitely one of the more capable four-wheel drives in the game and also in the the real world, so to speak. Uh, it's fairly lightweight. It has a powerful. I think it has a V8, uh, but it's really, really powerful. And um, like the the gearbox is great, and the steering is just uh, yeah, pretty wonderful. And of course, the vehicle is quite light. Uh, it's certainly a lot lighter than the the Harvester, and it's also very nimble. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to get around rocks uh, without getting your diff stuck on them or anything like that. Uh, it's it's uh, it's very, very capable, just like in real life. And also uh, downhill, uh, the engine braking is uh, excellent, uh, much better than uh, the Scout 800 again. Um, absolutely, it makes everything a lot easier. And uh, like navigating tricky trails in this thing here is also very very easy. And you can make use of uh, like things like using wheel spin to turn tighter when you have your diff lock engaged and stuff like that. So uh, it works very very well. Um, and uh, like I said, it just makes everything a lot easier. It's also not very wide for a four-wheel drive, so uh, that makes like squeezing through narrow paths like this very easy. You don't get stuck on anything and uh, fall over the edge of the, the cliff. Of course you can decide to take this car uh, places where hmm, cars probably shouldn't go. And, and uh, it's, it's fairly easy to, uh, to keep control because the, um, the center of gravity is also quite low and um, it's, just, uh, it's just a very, very capable uh, vehicle. Um, so it's definitely worth the 10 bucks. Um, I would like to see in the future the Land Rover Defender uh, added to the game, uh, preferably with the Camel Trophy uh, decals on it, but uh, we'll see if that happens. Until then, I can thoroughly recommend you picking up the Jeep here because um, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely worth the 10 bucks or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a must have basically.